what's up what's up what's up my people welcome back or welcome to my channel my name is jean aka bambi you you and you are welcome back to my channel so for today or this video we're going to be achieving this look the whole makeup the whole hair so stay tuned and let's get right into this video so for what i use um to stick down my hair i'm going to use this uh got to be glue that's because it's the only thing that practically works for my hair my hair has become very stiff which you guys will see in a second then i have this um hair mousse as well it helps it just to stay firm you guys would see that then i have this um hair piece okay this is where the catfish comes this is where the catfish comes so it's an old hair piece you guys as you can see it's really hard and but i like it because i got it for my mom and it's you know i just don't want to get a new one because it was her favorite and it's my favorite too <laughs> so yeah then you're gonna need some hair pins especially if your hair is very very short like my own i have a couple of hair pins i would show you some and i will tell you how many i would use so just some hair pins i i hope you guys can see that and then you need a comb of course because you need to comb your hair then you need a brush so i have two brushes i have a hard one and it's a hard brush it's kind of like this because it got burnt then i have it's kind of a hard but soft brush this is the one that i use for my back because i don't like this for my back part of my head because the hair is very light and i I basically don't have any hair at the back of my head so i literally feel this in my skull when i use this one so i just use it for the front and then i use this for the back so yeah guys that's basically everything oh i forgot you need head wraps just so that you seal the hair when you gel it down so i have two for the back the front yeah i don't use one because as i said my hair at the back is short very very short you guys would see it in a second so please viewer discretion advice because what you're about to see is illegal it is very illegal but this is my hair currently guys it's my hair um i'm looking down because that's where my mirror is and the video setup is above the mirror so yeah this is currently how my hair is after a good i think nine months of hair growth um I'll explain the rest as I'm doing the video about my hair, but let's get right in the video so that we don't waste a lot of time. So I'm going to quickly show you guys the back and how bad it is currently. So you guys can see, I shaved this part more because it literally wasn't growing even. So I shaved this part, but I just, I just don't have back hair, you guys. So I'm going to start by... Um, using this for my hair sorry i just want to get my sleeves up so it depends on if you guys want a part in your head or not but for me i just basically push everything backwards you know so i'm going to get the glue first a lot and then i tell you a lot of glue if you guys don't want this in your head don't do this okay but i'm just showing you basically how i do it so <laughs> I get a lot guys it's really really a lot it will take a lot of washing to do if you use this so that's it oopsie and i basically just go in i don't apply it in every section that's because i just don't want my hair getting all this stuff inside yeah so let me break it down to you guys why literally i have patches in my head why my hair isn't growing and why i just don't have any hair in my head basically so mid 2019 to like mid 2020 
I spent a whole good one year bleaching and dyeing the roots of my hair. Do I regret it? Not at all because it was an experience that was worthwhile and I actually did enjoy doing it. But now I'm suffering the consequences because my hair just won't grow and my roots are damaged. I actually went bold when I wanted to start afresh but because of so much bleaching and dying it's just damaged the roots of my head so my hair growth is actually very slow and stagnant sometimes and now my hair just won't grow so this is why my hair looks like this and this is why it's like this so if you guys want to actually bleach and dye your hair be ready to suffer the consequences and the side effects that come with it like none hair growth but yeah guys i'm actually okay with whatever i have right now and i'm gonna work towards my hair growth and see how far it gets me so yeah that's basically why my hair is where it is right now um so guys as you can see now i kind of brought all my hair into the central part of my head like where i want to put the ex what do they call this extension of the hair i can't remember what it's called but yeah i brought all my hair to this basically the location where i want it to be so now because my hair is short i have to really do it quick and tie my hair so i get my mousse okay because mousse helps it stick down don't mind what i was saying at this point of the video it was really irrelevant so i just increased the speed of the video so yeah i just applied this basically on the top of my head so it helps the gel stay down and stick down because my hair as i said is very short and it's natural so it's actually very very hard to deal with if you are doing things really really slow then for the last time, I'll go in with my brush to make sure everything, you know, mixes together. I know you guys can see like white, you know, in my hair, but don't worry about that, guys. Don't worry. It actually goes away when the hair is drying. So don't be afraid of that. The back is not really hard to deal with because as I said, the hair is really, really short. So it's really not hard to deal with. So when I get to this point, I really don't like my head being tensed where I tie like the people who tie the central part of their head with um, cotton or some string or something. My head can actually tie it if you guys can see. It's really tiny but <laughs> it can tie but I just don't like the tension in my head. So what I go ahead and do at this point is I get my head wrap. I start with the front that's because the front is most visible after i tie my head wrap so i just um sorry oopsie get the head wrap and tie it right there then this is the secret that i do i let the head wrap pass the back of my head until this point i hope you guys will be able to see but until this point okay because basically no one ever sees really the side they look at the back and the front so this is how i tie it and then i go ahead make a knot on this part okay however you tie your head wrap but this is for me because i've mastered my head you know and then the thing is that this part you have to keep it straight because if you make a demarcate um if, you, if it's not straight, sorry, it would get, um, what I can say is like a line in the middle of your head, you know? So, yeah, that's basically how I tie the front part. So that's only for the front because the front is needs to be very much secure, okay? So that's it. And then I get the second head wrap. Now, this one is for the back. So I do the same process, but starting from the back.
and then we're gonna let this sit for a good 10 minutes because my head is a bit rough and when we come back i'll show you how i attached this but before i'm just going to prep this because i want to do um my makeup too so for this i use um hairspray olive oil hairspray okay and just so that it has a bit of a shine because i haven't used it in a while i do this on it then i finger comb because this is like real real synthetic hair so i just pack it <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> i pack it the way i want it to be when it's in my head because if i spread it out too much it looks too fake you know so i have to pack it in well so basically that's what i do and the rest of the packing and everything i do when it's on my head so you guys are going to see that later so we'll catch you guys when it's time to put this piece into my head Now guys, this originally is the shade of my foundation. The only problem is I got lighter in complexion on my face because I tried to use a product that was supposed to clear my dark spots, but in turn it made my face lighter. But this is actually the original shade of my foundation.
this is me coming to you after i've done my makeup i'm sure you already saw a quick routine of how i did my makeup during while we're waiting for the hours so now the hair is dry i can literally feel it even here so as you can see now it's like lay flat on my head don't mind this line here we'll get rid of it it's because of the you know so now we get our hair piece so this is what i was talking about when i said i don't like tying this so what i do is i use that extra hair to get it to hold my hair piece so this is where the pins come in so this is the hair piece we had and then i have my pins here so i'll just put it where i want it to be which would be somewhere here probably so this thing has and if you have hair you can actually pull this but guys i just don't like my head having a headache or whatever so i just place it on my head that's normally where i put it i always put it just above my head then what i do is i get my hair pin okay so this is where now the hair that i left out comes in handy so i connect my hair piece to my hair so i put the pin inside the hair piece then i connect it inside my head so because the hair is not tied this part is already settled the front part though i do put a lot of pins because guys the hair is not attached to the hair piece so i'll do the same with okay i'll do like the front and you guys can just watch what i do But normally what I do now is for it to be more firm in the front, I put some just close to each other. So they can even cross each other. It's just that you guys can't see inside. But they literally hold each other. And I'll put my last one about here. It's because I know exactly where I put the others. So it's easier for me. You know, you get to feel it in your head. So that's how I attach my hair piece. And you guys can see already that it doesn't even look like it's a hair piece so to finish it off i just remember pack in where you need to pack in you know and then as i said before i get this olive oil spray sorry i get it and i just spray it here where we have those white 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 thingies and as well it will give the hair a little sorry a little shine so can you see you just pat it in and guys the white is literally gone it's literally gone so just you know that's what i do to get rid of the white in the hair so yeah guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up share it with someone especially someone who has short hair and wants to flick their hair and you guys comment down below what you think about this look don't you think it's cute because i tried a new eyebrow routine i really didn't fill in all my eyebrows i just tried to do what i could do and yeah you guys we'll see you guys in my next video please take care and stay safe bye